Students, welcome to a problem on 2D arrays. In this particular problem on 2D arrays, what I am going to do here is, I am going to find the sum of rows. For example, if I have a 3 by 3 matrix like this, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. On the first row it should print 6, second row it should print 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. On the third row it should print 9 plus 8, 8 plus 7, it should print 24. In order to do this, this is our first 2D array problem. So I am going to show you how you can go about reading numbers into a 2D array, how you can find the sum of the individual rows. Then I expect you to write a program on your own where you find the sum of the columns of a 2D array. So what I have done is I have defined array which can have a maximum number of 50 rows and it can have a maximum number of 10 columns. Now before I go to the prototype I will need to discuss a few things. I have defined an array A which is a two dimensional array having a maximum of 50 rows and 10 columns. Although the array has 50 rows and 10 columns, the user may enter R number of rows or R number of columns. That is, he could enter 3 rows, 3 columns, 2 rows, 2 columns, 6 rows, 6 columns and so on. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm asking the user enter the number of rows and columns he or she wishes to enter. So here what I am doing is in main using scanf I am recording the number of rows and number of columns the user is going to enter. Then I have written a function called as read 2d array. In read 2d array I am passing the two dimensional array as a parameter. I am passing the rows entered by the user and the number of column data entered by the user. So first look at the prototype of read 2d array. When you are declaring a prototype for now, since we have not learnt in detail the linkage about pointers and arrays, please do the prototype declaration for a 2d array like this int x number of rows columns and these two integers happen to be rows and columns. So read 2d array int row int column. Now let us see what we are doing in read 2d array. This particular fellow A is represented by X here with rows and columns. Okay, rows and columns represent the maximum number of rows and columns that particular array can contain. But actually R and C will represent the actual number of rows and columns the array is going to contain. Now since I have an array of two dimensions that is length and breadth, I require i and j as variables. So I am asking the user enter maybe say 3 rows and 3 columns. For starting from i equal to 0, i less than number of rows, I am first filling up all the elements in the first row. Then I increase i by 1, then I am filling all the elements in the second row. Then I increase i by 1 more, I am filling up all the elements in the third row and so on. So this way you are reading all the elements row by row into an array. This has already been clearly explained to you in an earlier lecture class using slides. So please take a look at that and just come back how you enter numbers into a two dimensional array. Now what I'm going to do here is I am going to show you how to write code to find the sum of this two dimensional array. So let me be a little lazy here and copy this prototype declaration so I can start typing my code. Alright, this is my prototype. Now again, in order to read or calculate the sum in two dimensionals, I require two variables i, j and I require a variable called sum which I make it zero. Then in order to travel into a two dimensional array, okay, where i is less than the number of rows, i plus plus, okay, and for First we'll write the skeleton code and then we'll go about doing the other part for j less than number of columns j plus plus. Then what I'm going to do here is in order to calculate the sum I'm going to say sum is sum plus x of i comma j. So it will find all the sum of all the numbers on that particular row. Then I also need to print what were the numbers on that particular row. So I'm doing a little space here and printing x of i comma 
j all right i am printing the numbers on that particular row now what is happening is after i calculate the sum for that row when i come outside the internal for loop i need to print the sum i can say row whatever row 0 or row 1 or whatever row 1 sum is percent d slash n okay then i am going to say sum and then i am going to put a semicolon now what i also need to ensure is that sum is initialized back to zero every time because the calculation of sum for the new row should again start from zero plus whatever is the value of those numbers in that row so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to bring this fellow here so let me do a little indentation so that this code gets a little more clearer all right now this comes under this now this for loop here okay this bracket this for loop starts here and ends here so this block is linked with this for loop as well as these two statements are linked with this particular for loop now I need to also write the row number since row is starting from 0 I am going to make i as plus 1 because row 0 doesn't make sense to a normal user so it's going to say row 1 sum is whatever is the value of sum now we need to end this particular function all right so we need to end this particular function so this is good the way it's going to print the sum let us first try to write a message here saying that sorry printf sum of rows okay so you know that the sum of rows are being printed all right so we'll give a backslash here also so you know that the sum of rows are being printed so now what happens is i have written the code to do the sum of two dimensionary let me show you what i'm doing here i'm starting from the zeroth row i am taking zeroth row zeroth element adding it to sum then i is still 0, 0th row first element, 0th row second element and adding it to sum. Every time in the loop I am printing that particular value of i and j in the sense I am printing 1, 2, 3 okay and then when I come out of this loop I have calculated the sum for all the numbers. So what I am doing is I am printing the row sum like this. So this is what it's going to do is it's going to print the sum of elements of that particular row like this and then I need to reset sum back to zero this is what most of you forget if you don't reset sum back to zero it is going to give you a running total of all the numbers of the array whereas you want the total by row by row so let's try to take this program let's try to see first if it compiles just try to run and then hopefully try to see if what I've explained is right so here I am compiling all right so there's some problem uh, error parameter name omitted okay I have forgotten to give variable names here int r and int c let's be lazy here okay since and let's try to recompile it and ask the compiler to help us find errors so so far so good it's asking us to enter the number of rows let me say I enter three rows and three columns enter three rows and three columns so let me enter simple numbers so that we are able to easily verify one two three four space five space six enter then 7 space 8 space 9 space and enter then here if you see now let me explain this particular piece of code so here if you see I am entering a 3 by 3 array what I am doing is I have entered 3 rows and 3 columns this is the 0th row this is the first row this is the second row this is the 0th column this is the second column sorry first column and this is the third column so when I am reading data I will read 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 that means 0th row all the numbers first row all the numbers second row all the numbers and then in this some particular function I am seeing here 1 2 3 is 6 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 6 this is 15 this is 24 and so on so i hope you should have understood how this some particular thing is going to work and how it is finding the sum so just to give you a little bit re-explanation of the sum what is happening here is 
in order to travel to every element in a two dimensional array i am taking i which helps me cover all the rows j which helps me cover all the columns of that particular row and i am taking sum and adding every element of that particular row to sum then as i am in the inner loop i am printing this follows i am printing these 1 2 and 3 so i am printing 1 2 3 once i print 1 2 3 i am coming out of the loop and then i am so you can see here i am printing this 1 2 and 3 so once j becomes equal to c i am coming out of the inner loop then i am printing row 1 sum is 6 then i print i come back i make sum equal to 0 because next time sum should start from 0 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 then i am printing row 2 sum is so on so this way we are able to find the sum of all the numbers between of all the rows sorry in a two dimensional array you can take a look at this code available in the description of this particular video play around with the code make changes to the code and try to understand one last thing i need to tell you just for now because we are in an introductory course declare a two dimensional array like this in your prototype declaration as well as use the same declaration even in your functions because once you understand the relationship between pointers and functions that will help you get better clarity on all these items as to why two dimensional array is being passed like this.